Uh, I just need another kind of another section of the slides because everyone asks me about this. Um, I I don't I actually don't know what else to add about the uh, about antivirus programs. Um, anyway, so I have a, a uh, kind of a to-do list of things to work on someday. Because uh, I believe it's possible to do, uh, do heap spray using the graphics operators uh, to basically paint the heap, uh, you know, paint your shellcode into memory however you, however you want it to appear. Although it's, it's actually a much easier way if you just uh, generate your, your, your heap as you want it and then compress it, uh, you know, with Zeal because it's very redundant, so it compresses very small, and then when, when Acrobat goes and uncompresses it into heap memory, ta-da. Um, but it, this, is a, this is a much, much more sophisticated uh, kind of show off kind of hack. Um, there's, uh, yeah, PDF coin, I right, get that done. Uh, there's uh, an amazing number of graphics operators that, are, that you have available, like, uh, like tensor cross product triangle meshes and so on. Um, I believe it's possible you, can, uh, you could unfriscate data by, by taking the data you want to hide, like XORing it or doing some kind of alpha channel blending or whatever with white noise. And then basically taking the output of that, uh, the, 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 the white noise and the, the output of that, sticking them in the PDF and then having the PDF recombine them back together again graphically and you get the original data back out. I believe it should be possible to do that as well, but I, I haven't actually tested this. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, uh, actually there was this guy down in Argentina who did actually uh, do a heap spray using inline images, uh, but I haven't had time to like, really uh, look at it closely. Um, anyway, since there's, uh, there's um, a bunch of ways of doing alternative data streams and stuff like that in, the, uh, in PDFs, so you can have a PDF file that is, uh, has different text on the page for each language, uh, depending on the locale of the computer you open it on. Uh, there's also some, even without using JavaScript, it should be, it's, it's possible to do that, and I think even the other stuff you can do with that JavaScript, but basically all of these are quite, you know, all available from the JavaScript at least, so you could, uh, t you know, make a PDF file never look the same on any two systems. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't tested that yet either, but um, somebody said we should, uh, should we also write database scanner, and since a lot of printers these days have PDF engines in, in them as well, uh, if the, uh, depending on how full featured the, the PDF engine in your printer is, it may be possible to like scan your databases from your printer when you go to print a document. I'd be really surprised if that would actually happen, but uh, maybe not. Uh, TrueType fonts also have a uh, kind of a little, little programming language in them as well, but I haven't quite figured out anything useful to do with them as far as uh, attack kind of things go. Um, stuff, a lot of stuff. There's a, actually, you can actually, there's a stripped down postscript that you can, that still exists in there as well. It's mostly, mostly as far as I can tell, only used for dot screen functions and only when you go to print the thing on a printer, and so I haven't really spent a lot of time experimenting with it, because I, I wanted to write a, a, a Mandelbrot generator in, uh, in, the, in the PostScript interpreter in the PDF, but whatever. So, in conclusion. Um, <laughs> um, Okay, any more questions? Can you put your uh, hands up uh, if you want to ask questions, please, and uh, let the audio angels know? So, uh, have you thought what implications would it make if you not only tried printers, but mobile phones? You know, some of them can read PDF documents. Yep. Uh, there was actually, um, a, a, like in August, actually, there was, there was at least one or two PDF engine O days in the PDF engine on the iPhone. Uh, the the jailbreakme.com uh, thing was basically using a, uh, a, an O day in the PDF reader to uh, essentially jailbreak your phone. <laughs> so. Yeah. Uh, there's a PDF slash A format, which is used yes. for a long time archiving um, data, 80 years or something like this. Right. Uh, this is, should be a subset which should be stable. It but should be. 
Did you look into it? I, no, actually. I, it's, it's, I should have added it as my to-do to list. I, yeah, it's basically PDF slash A is the archival PDF that's uh, it's basically the 1.7 spec stripped down, so there's not like a JavaScript interpreter in it. And it's supposed to be you know, deterministically rendered, rendered, so it does appear the same way to everyone. But I, don't, I haven't actually really spent any time looking at it. Because as a side remark, uh, this is the intended format. If you look into this infamous Ausweis app in Germany, mm -hmm. this is a format uh, where the documents should be signed in, which are presented to the user right. before he signs it with this uh, German new Personalausweis. So uh, right. this should be worth a try. Yeah. OK, we'll take a question from uh, IRC. Next. OK, first of all, the chat is um, ask um, yourself if it's um, well good to open your PDF slides or if there's <laughs> anything in there. And there was a question about um, the page counts in the PDF files. What oh. happens if you make them really large? Could you actually, I don't. Bugs? As far as the really large count, I don't actually know. Although I do know that I did notice um, when I was experimenting with building a uh, page tree uh, that um, that OS10 Preview and Adobe Acrobat. Uh, look at different things to figure out what order the page is in. And so I ended up writing a PDF file where the page is rendered in one order, like one, two, three, four, five in Acrobat, and rendered in reverse order, five, four, three, two, one in OS 10 Preview. It's the same file. Uh, I didn't put the stuff up here, but it's, uh, I think it's like one looks at the explicit name of the page, and the other one looks at the order in which they appear in the array. But uh, uh, see, first part of the question was, what did you just ask? <laughs> Wait. Um, well, the page count question you just answered, and the other question was if it's safe to open your slides. Safe to open. So I've, all of my slides I've been putting up lately, I've actually been sticking a little comment in it, saying that you know if you read this comment, that uh, I know whatever it was. I, I didn't have to actually put anything clever in there, but I, I, I did put a little comment in just for the people who could look. Uh, another question, have you experimented with uh, signed documents? Uh, and subverting uh, the signature I, or I something? Uh, signed documents in Acrobat. Uh, so the question is, have I, have I tried subverting signed documents yet? And I haven't tried that yet. Uh, I know that uh, there is some, for, if a document's signed, there's a, I think there were some extra restrictions that kick in on the JavaScript or some of the objects, but I'm not 100% certain about that. It's another thing to look into. The, 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 the just, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in, in the PDF format. The, uh, the, just the ISO docs for the, the PDF syntax itself, the JavaScript uh, documentation, and the XML forms comes to like 2,500 pages of text. Jesus. And it's not even entirely documented. I've found stuff that's not in any of those. Right. OK, other questions? Put your hands up. That gentleman there. What about uh, same origin policy uh, when it comes to uh, XML communication and uh, the SOAP uh, part? Uh, currently, I believe it does do same origin. How does that work when it comes to uh, PDFs loaded on? I mean, when it's not in the browser? Um, I'm not 100% certain. I, I've only spent a little bit of time experimenting with the forms. And I, I, do have a, I, I do actually have a PDF file that will go and connect to some website. But it originally came from that website. But I, I don't know if, if Acrobat's keeping track of that or if, if I went and I changed the URL, if it'd go somewhere else. So I, there's, I'm a little bit fuzzy on that part. It's, it's, it's in like chapter 14 of you know, subsection, whatever, in the ISO spec. Um, the hybrid file you had, the one with the calculator, the hybrid right. file you had, the one with the calculator and the zip file and the PDF file, have you tried to edit it with uh, the Adobe? I don't, have I, I don't know how it's called, the Adobe tool to edit PDFs. Does this editing of the PDF file break the exe file or the zip file? Um, so the question is if I edited the, the hybridized exe PDF file, would it break the exe part? And I haven't actually tried it with Adobe's tools, but uh, I know when I've written PDF files 
uh, before and then modified them in the OS X preview program and then saved them back out, it, it completely rewrote the file because uh, like even the graphics operators, because uh, I had like nice neat like graphics code and then it turned into this big mess of, uh, basically it, it, I'm suspecting that, that uh, Quartz is basically just serializing the, the graphics objects it has in memory in, into the PDF. But, Okay, we have time for maybe another two questions. So Hello, can... yes. Um, I have a question what you imagine the solution that, to this could be. So, personally, I could think of some uh, PDF parser which only reads documents with a Titan spec, or do you know what they imagine the solution to be to this, or what do you uh, think of? So, Adobe's solution as far as um, the huge vulnerable vulnerability surface in Acrobat is to sandbox uh, Acrobat, the program itself. Uh, they started with version 10, it's still got a bunch of, it's not a complete sandboxing yet. Um, and uh, as far as other things, um, some people have suggested uh, writing a PDF scrubber, and I think that might work. Um, it's it's a slightly less work than actually writing a full-blown PDF rendering engine, because you don't have to, to really deal with the graphics. You just have to check for syntactic conformity for, the thing is that the, 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 um, you know, the spec doesn't actually say what is a conforming PDF, so you, you, when you write the scrubber, you get to decide. Um, but uh, yeah, from, aside from a scrubber, there's my company's product, but I, I'm not actually, I'm trying not to make this a commercial pitch. Um, ask me later if you want to know, or you can ask me now if you want, but I, I'm a, I won't do it unless someone asks. Okay, we have, to, okay. we have time for one Any more question, if there's uh, anything else. Anyone? Going once, going twice, going three times. Well, thank you very much, Julia. Okay.